Alright, update on Smooth Love Potion. So, uh, I see a lot of these coins on my feed today. You know, if you kind of just look to the side of my screen, you can see basically everything is up. Like, most of the markets are shooting up 5, 6%, 4%, 2%, 13%, 5, 3, 5. Uh, unfortunately, SLP isn't really showing too much strength. So, I mean, from the candle body opening, you know, we're not even up like half a percentage. Uh, to the top of this wick, you know, we did come up 7% or so, but we did have a harsh rejection. And it does seem like, you know, money is kind of flowing out of this coin right now. So uh, what do I see happening in the short term? So uh, we do have two different price levels where this coin could potentially bounce. Now, um, do bear in mind, I have said in the past few videos that my target would be down here at 88 so this was a pretty hefty drop that we uh that we uh basically said that you know it, it could be quite likely as we've broken down below 210 so far we've come down you know almost 22 percent since we said that so uh what is interesting is obviously this is an slp video but i am going to show you the stock market quickly uh so the stock markets had a huge huge pump today uh there are three levels that i think that we need to be above before i start getting out of bed for this uh number one we need to be above the 200 day moving average number two we need to be above this descending resistance and number three we need to be above this descending resistance so we've done number one we've already broken above one of our key indicators that we need to be above we haven't come up to this resistance yet and we haven't come up to this resistance yet uh, coming in at the 200 day moving average so uh, what would i personally be looking for before i kind of jump into altcoins like slp so uh, obviously these coins are very very volatile they move to the upside and the downside very very quickly so you know personally for me i will not be buying any slp until the market does make a solid reversal so you know i have outlined this in the past few videos the bitcoin dominance is you know rallying today we have had a slight dump which does seem bullish for altcoins the SPY is heading up, which looks bullish for altcoins, and the dollar is heading down. So, uh, you know, all in all, it's been a good day in the sun for altcoins. Is this a fake out? It could potentially be. We could be potentially coming back and back testing the W breakout on the dollar and then exploding. And then, you know, at that point, if you don't know why we're looking at the dollar, basically the crypto does the opposite of what the dollar does. So, you know, if you look you can see that we've been in a strong uh, uptrend since you know may june time if we come over to bitcoin you can see that uh bitcoin's really been downtrending since well i mean we've been we've been heading up here but you know at, you can see what i mean the dollar kind of generally heads up over time and the uh, bitcoin price and the total crypto market cap heads down mostly when the dollar's going up so uh in my opinion, for me to jump into risky coins like SLP, I would personally need to see Bitcoin break above the 46,000. But, you know, all in all, I mean, uh, I, I don't really see anything that's changed too much today. So uh, I have outlined this in, you know, all of my videos for SLP. While we are below this 618 here at 215, while we are below this these two micro highs, the second one coming in at 291, I am personally sitting on the sideline for this coin. And, you know, I did save a bullet on this because, you know, we came all the way up to here at 412. And I said, you know, until we do start breaking above this bull flag, closing daily candles, then, you know, I will be sitting on the sideline. So, you know, so far I've avoided a 60% drop just by being very patient um you know currently it's only a 52 percent drop but you know I, i'm not too worried if it then starts breaking out from here and then i put in along here because you know at that point i would be more more you know assured that the market would be going in an upwards direction and at which point you know we still would have avoided a 30 percent drop so we're still getting cheaper prices than at uh, this high personally you know i'm not the biggest fan on slp but if you are a fan of this coin and you want to hold it for the long term so be it fair enough if i was you i'd be looking to buy you know after we break out of these previous micro highs so uh Obviously, take away with that as what you will. You know, like I said, being completely honest, I don't own this coin. I don't plan on accumulating or buying this coin at all. That goes the same with, you know, Axie Infinity. Obviously, these two coins are linked. So, 
Uh, in the short term, I mean, I predicted in the past few videos that Bitcoin will come up to the 40,000 and roll over. So, so far, let's see how we've done. It came up to 39,700. And uh, obviously, you know, it was still kind of in an uptrend. So do keep that in mind. This could 100% be the bottom, which is why I've been saying in my past few videos, especially for Bitcoin, I am accumulating Bitcoin at these prices. But obviously, like I said as well, I am not touching any altcoins right now. I am very much on the sideline pardon me uh, for all of these altcoins so that is pretty much all i see for slp uh, i think if we do come over to the weekly time frame switch over to high Ashes, i believe you know we'll probably see that this downtrend is still uh, very much red yeah if we come over to the high Ashes, you can see this has been a huge huge downtrend Previously, you know, we have put in a couple of green uh, weekly candles before rolling over. So, you know, in my opinion, it is very likely that this is just kind of one little push up before we do start rolling. So uh, all in all, if I was to say like a conservative target that I think is possible for us to come down to, I still do think that we could come down to 157. Uh, worst case scenario, if we lose that, I could see us dropping all the way to you know, 0 0.0086. So uh, that is basically all I see for SLP. Uh, just to reiterate, until we do start breaking above these um, these highs that we put in over here, I'm not getting out of bed. Now, normally this coin, especially on the high Ashes on the daily, is very good at characterizing whether we're in a uptrend or a downtrend. You can see, you know, previously, whenever we do start putting in consecutively uh, green candles, it normally is signs of a reversal in the short term. Um, you know, a lot of these times we put in two green candles, three green candles, and then fell off the table. Uh, but, you know, typically when we do put in three three or four candles here you know we put in three candles and on the fourth and fifth day we had a huge huge explosion uh similar to here you know we put in three green candles and then you know another couple of green candles we went on a rally same here here and here so uh, the high Ashes are a really good way of looking at this coin and seeing you know are we still in a downtrend are we breaking up are we breaking down so in my opinion if we start putting in you know one two three four green high Ashi candles back test this previous high and then go off to the races i would be so much more confident in buying this in the short term but you know that is my own trading plan i am a conservative trader like i said i will miss out on a lot of the pump price action and i will buy in when we do have a breakout instead of you know just throwing my money at every dip because you know just to reiterate i mean if you do kind of look at this coin if you bought every time this dipped even if it went on a 85 percent dip you know you'd still be down you know 95 percent from the highs from the dips you know you're still down like 70 percent so this is why i'm a conservative trader for these altcoins i will be making quick trades on them against bitcoin and i will be taking profit in bitcoin so yeah, that is my plan for SLP right now. Until we do get above 291, then I'm I'm basically in bed. I'm sleeping on this coin. But yeah, that's just my own personal plan. So once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.